Miss Quaestin, you and the prisoner continued up to the caves. Yes. Where was the guide? He'd gone on ahead. Sent on ahead? No, he was waiting for us further along the, the ledge. But when you arrived at the caves, prisoner left you and went to speak to the guide. I don't know if he spoke to him or not. Well, he left you and went off in his direction. Yes. And what did you do? I waited. You said just now, I think it may have been partly my fault. Why? I had asked him about love. And had thereby introduced a feeling of intimacy. That is what I meant. Thank you. Mr. McBride? Please tell the court exactly what happened. I lit a match. And the prisoner followed you. <laughs> Miss Quested, the prisoner followed you, didn't he? Could I please have a minute before I reply to that, Mr. McBride? Certainly. I'm... I'm not quite sure. I beg your pardon. You are in the cave, and the prisoner followed you. Now, what, what do you mean, please? No. What is that? What do you say? I'm afraid I've made a mistake. What nature of mistake? Dr. Aziz never followed me into the cave. Now, Miss Quested, let us go on. I will read you the deposition which you signed when you arrived back with Mrs. Callender. Mr. McBride, you cannot go on. I was speaking to the witness. And the public will be silent. Miss Quested, address your remarks to me. And remember, you speak on oath, Miss Quested. Dr. Aziz. I stop these proceedings on medical grounds. Quiet! Please sit down. You withdraw the accusation, Miss Quested? Answer me. I withdraw everything. <laughs> 